As a lady, you will have so many people seeking your hand in marriage and as a man, there will be lots of ladies to pick from. The numerous options you have might make it difficult for you to come to a decision and you will no doubt want to choose the best. However, if you follow God's leading and give that person a chance, you will have no cause to regret. That man or lady that God has brought across your path is the one for you. Do not ignore them, neither should you look down on them. Give them a chance in your life. Try to know them and see if things will work out. You cannot keep playing it safe and hope you will get the right one. Just let God choose for you, and if He is directing you to a particular person, let His will be done. Sometimes it's not about the container, but the content. You might be seeing that person as not being your type, when that is exactly the one God has in mind for you. In this respect, we shall be looking at lives of two men who gave the women in their lives a chance and had no cause to regret their decisions. First is Joseph in the New Testament who was espoused to Mary. In this case, we could see that they were already engaged to be married and it was just a matter of time before circumstances arose that made Joseph thought of withdrawing his decision. He was a devout man, pious, and he must have known Mary to be a devout lady as well. But then, she became pregnant out of the blue and there was just no logical explanation for her predicament. Joseph had to have a rethink at this point. Maybe he was wrong after all and she was not the one for him. Moreover, what would people say about him? How could he explain that he was not the one who got her pregnant? While he was thinking about all these, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and put him out of his dilemma once and for all. The angel told him not to be scared to take Mary as his wife because the child in her was conceived of the Holy Ghost. After this instruction, he arose the next day. He withdrew his decision to send her back. Today, his name is forever relevant in the Bible because the he did the instruction of God. He gave Mary a chance and became the earthly father of the savior of the world. In like manner, God might have instructed you to allow a certain person to come into your life, but you are still contemplating if they are the one or not. You're still wondering if there is someone better out there for you. Many people have lost their chance of happiness in life because they took for granted God's instructions over their lives and chose to follow their heart instead. God can see the end of a thing even before it has started. He knows who will be good for you and who will not fit into your life. He is your maker and creator and understands you even more than you understand yourself. If you are confused about what to do, just go before him in prayer, trusting him with all of your heart. Even when the circumstances around tell you not to go for that person and God is asking you to go on, you can trust that he has your best interest at heart. In the case of Joseph, people might have advised him to call off the marriage because she had become pregnant. They would have said all sorts of things if he had allowed them help him with his decision. But he chose to keep it to himself and followed God's plan for his life and that was the best decision he could have ever made. You may be thinking that the man or lady in question does not fit into your specifications. Maybe he is not as rich as you would want your future husband to be, or tall, but he's not. Or perhaps she does not have the model physique you want. You should realize that relationships and marriage has more to do with a person than all of these external factors. You can find someone that fits your wish list and still not be fulfilled or happy with them. Do not be wise in your own understanding. That is what the Bible says. Do not think you know it all. Do not think you can choose for yourself and stop rejecting people based on some unimportant qualities that you have set in your mind. If by chance you become confused, let God clear your doubts as he did with Joseph. And when God gives you an instruction, follow promptly. That is what Joseph did. The next example is Boaz. Boaz was a wealthy man and a close relative of the family of Elimelech. Naomi's husband. Despite being wealthy, he was unmarried at the time when he met Ruth. Ruth was the daughter-in-law of Naomi, a Moabitess, but she had decided to follow her mother-in-law and to make Naomi's home hers. 
Now, one day, while she was looking to get grains from the field, she found herself in Boaz's field, and when he took notice of her, she found favor in his sight. First, he told her she could continue gleaning in his fields, and also assured her that she would not be molested by any man. Then, he purposely asked his servants to leave some grains for her. When Ruth told Naomi what had taken place, she gave Ruth some instructions so as to settle her in her home. And Ruth did just as instructed by Naomi. The end of the whole story is that Boaz married Ruth, and they had the blessings of God in their marriage. Now, physically speaking, many things could have stopped the union of Boaz and Ruth. Boaz could have looked down on her because, first, she was not an Israelite. Also, she was a widow. Even though she was still young, there were things that some would consider and decide to go for someone else instead. The closest kinsman to Elimelech, who was supposed to redeem her, did not because he could not risk his inheritance by marrying a Moabitess. Ruth chapter 4 verse 6, And the kinsman said, I cannot redeem it for myself, lest, by marrying a Moabitess, I endanger my own inheritance. Take my right of redemption yourself, for I cannot redeem it. But Boaz was ready to do just that, despite the surrounding circumstances. Ruth also did not go looking for young men like her, but instead followed her mother-in-law's instructions and it ended well for her. Even Boaz confirmed this in Ruth chapter 3 verse 10 to 11, and he said, Blessed be you of the Lord, my daughter, for you have made this last loving kindness greater than the former. For you have not gone after young men, whether poor or rich. And now, my daughter, fear not. I will do for you all you require. For all my people in the city know that you are a woman of strength, worth, bravery, capability. They both gave each other a chance, and they did not regret it afterward. God might not necessarily speak to you in an audible voice to marry or be with someone. Sometimes, he just places people in our path and if we are well guided, we would know that they are there for a reason. It's up to us to take the initiative and leave the way open for that person. Even if you've been hurt in the past or have gone through one pain or the other, it's no reason to shut your heart to love and people. That person might be the one who will complete your healing, bring you joy and happiness, help you reach your goals and fulfill your God-given purpose here on earth. As long as that person is a believer, and especially if you have the backing of the Holy Spirit to go ahead, do not remain hesitant or choose your will instead. That person you're looking at as poor or unimportant now might turn out to be someone great later on. That person that you're looking down on might be the key to unlocking God's blessings over your life. Life is about taking risks and nothing is guaranteed but with God. You can be sure of a beautiful future. David was not yet king when he asked Abigail to marry him, but she saw potentials in him, saw the great man that he could become and agreed to his proposal. Boaz saw the same thing in Ruth and gave her a chance in his life. You do not want to look back later in life only to discover that you had ignored or rejected that person who would have been the perfect one for you. Give that man or lady a chance in your life now.